What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and on this week we are going to be doing the door gap between the rear quarter and the driver's side door. Last week we already took care of the passenger side um, and got that all squared away, went through the whole process. If uh, you are curious, go ahead and catch that video. Um, on this one, I am going to just time lapse it, uh, mainly because it's more of the same. I will bring you in here shortly to show you exactly what I'm dealing with, but it is essentially the same issue we had on the passenger side. Already took the liberty of installing the door and I had the fender installed. Um, I will explain why it's removed again, because I, I have an issue that I need to fix and I was spitballing ideas on how to do that. So anyway, I will bring you in, show you what I'm dealing with on the quarter panel, and then I will talk to you about this fender, and then we're gonna roll into the video. All right, so door's installed. It is where it's gonna stay. I do realize I only have two bolts holding it, but that is enough for me to take care of what I need to take care of. Um, I did have the gap between the fender and the door squared away first. Um, and then I am just going to deal with what I have here by, you know, I got issues here. So I'm going to have to get into this anyway. And when I do, I'll correct this gap up top. It's looking pretty good. But as you go further down past this upper body line, it gets wide. And then at the very bottom, it just, it gets super wide. So that'll be addressed when I take care of this part, as you can see, same issue as the passenger side, the contour of the quarter panel does not match the contour of the door it's closer so it probably won't take as much work as the passenger side but it is still going to need to be worked moving forward to the fender and why it's removed again um, this body line here when i got it got the fender installed uh did not match up it the door's body line is a lot sharper. And I know that this is a common issue with aftermarket panels uh, pairing with OEM uh, parts. So this is an OEM door, that's an aftermarket panel. So the this line here on the fender is a lot flatter. So I was looking at how I would take care of that. Um, and I think I would have to strip this this quarter down pretty far and I'd have to work this entire body line. So my hammer and dolly work is not, not the best, uh, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. First thing I'm going to have to address, and I won't do this during this video, but I'll have to pull this inner structure out. So there's two spot welds down here at the bottom. And then there's a spot, two spot welds here and two spot welds here, as well as this uh, rolled edge that I'm going to have to open up and get this panel to slide out. And I might be able to just tap the panel out and not screw around with this rolled seam because honestly, I would rather not have to try and finesse that back flat. Once I get it out, I'll be able to get into this body line behind here work it all the way up and then I'll also have to uh, take the headlight bucket out uh, which isn't that big of a deal so not this episode but probably in a future episode we will address that uh, but we'll we'll see if we'll see uh, I do plan on touching that anyway back to the priority I got to get this body line and this door gap scenario all fixed so this is what happens when you install quarter panels and you don't reference the door when you're doing so so we will uh, get this worked I'm gonna put you in a position where you can watch I'll time lapse it so you don't have to sit through me explaining everything and once it's done I'll bring you back in for the final product
righty, we got this side all squared away. Um, I think this side came out better than the passenger side. Uh, there were some things with the passenger side that I think I learned from. Um, went with a hotter weld, shorter tacks, uh, and I feel like that kept the distortion down even more than normal. I still have a slight low back here, but I think, I think we're going to be okay. Uh, my gap, although it isn't perfect, I think with a little bit of file work or, yeah, file work, probably do it with a hand file, just mark the areas that need some more adjustment and just kind of work it from there, um, kind of like I did up here on the drip rail when I took that off and I still, still haven't touched that. Um, anyway. Next thing I need to figure out is going to be this front fender. Um, I mean, it's kind of an eyesore with the body lines not matching. Um, I don't, I don't know if I want to pull this uh, this structure out and try and work this whole body line. I'm worried that I'm going to ruin it, and. Uh, Frankly, I can't really afford to get a whole new fender, uh, but if I can find a original fender that isn't in too bad of shape, maybe I'll go that route and just throw a uh, original style fender on. That way I don't have to mess with the body line. So I'm going to keep my eye out for that. Um, but in the meantime, this is going to go in the car. Other than that, I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me today. I know it's not the normal style of video. Uh, it's all going to be time lapsed, and um, I just felt like I didn't felt like you probably didn't need to see all the nitnoid specific details on how to do this, considering I just did the other video on the passenger side last week. So I was just trying to save you guys from boredom, but I wanted to give you guys something showing that I am making progress on this car and I haven't just walked off the face of the earth. So appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, we'll see what I come up with for a plan for next week, whether it's the fender or something else. Um, but other than that, hope you guys have a good week. Uh, if you have your project at home, try and find a small project that you can work on and you can make progress just like I'm making progress. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're curious about something in any of the videos, go ahead, throw a comment down below, uh, hit that share button, subscribe if you haven't yet already. And with that, I will see you guys next week.